Hey everybody, it's Chucky, and today I'm going to be doing a kind of an extension on some of the videos I've done before, the separation of audio. Um, I, in my previous videos, I was using audio router. Nowadays, for some reason, audio router does not work 100% of the time for everybody, so now it doesn't work for me. So I can't use it as an example. So I downloaded Shea Volume. So Shea Volume is a pay-to-use software, but it essentially does the exact same thing. All right, looks like you can get it for $19.99 instead of $24, so not that bad. It's not that expensive of a program, but it does work. So I can at least show you using the trial version some different methods on how to route the audio. So in this, we're going to be using virtual audio cable, which I will link in the video description below. All you're gonna do is uh, VB audio. So this is, you know, people who make voice meter, voice meter banana, virtual audio cable, just download it. And then you'll get a digital output in your mixer or whatnot, your sound device stuff. So if I go down here, I can scroll down and see cable input. And so what we're gonna be doing, let's see, we're going to be taking that digital connection and we're going to be showing it, we're going to be routing it, sorry, to desktop audio too. So my desktop audio is going to be standard, you know, your default. And then desktop audio too is going to be the digital output. So just to start, I'm going to make sure I have sound. All right. Okay, so now we should have some audio playing in the background of my buddy's band, Rise and Revolt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Shea Volume and we're just going to route the sound. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. So Rise and Revolt. And let's say Cable. Okay, so Spotify should now be playing with the exact same song on Desktop Audio 2. And then if I want to listen to it, Advanced Audio Properties, Monitor Mute, should mute the output in Desktop Audio 2, but you should be able to still hear it because it's coming through my default audio device, which is still plugged into desktop audio. And if I want to mute the output, or sorry, monitor and output, you should be hearing a double, which is probably pretty annoying. All right, guys, so hopefully this video cleared some stuff up for you. Um, hopefully it helps explain more from my previous videos, and hopefully you can take something away from it. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, go ahead and leave a dislike. Let me know what I can do better in the comments section below. If you have any requests for anything, tech, technology, music, whatever, leave me a request and I'll see what I can do as far as making a video for it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.